on everybody, my name is Alex, and do you know all the natural disasters I'm talking about? That is, all of this, all the tsunamis, earthquakes, and everything in the world seems to be shaking. It's a little bit shaky, but the most, most king of the, well, king of the natural disasters is the volcanoes and that's what I'm talking about the ring of fire now if you look at the world map now at the Pacific Ocean you see that the ring of fire is not a ring and it don't have any fire it just have volcanoes but it's it's looks it looks like the continental drift and that's the and that's when the earthquakes were, when volcanoes do ha have erupted. And so, I'll t first I will tell you how the volcanoes were. Yes, now thousands of people have been wiped away. See the total number of people, 7 billion point five. I mean six now. And we wiped them away. That's totally 1 billion, 98% of, I mean, 89% of the population died. I mean, not just the population died, but everybody died. The biggest volcano in the world is found to be in uh, Indonesia and also right underneath the uh, the Yellowstone National Park and it's a big eruption maybe no one knows how the future may look like if the Yellowstone volcano erupts no one knows why but scientists have discovered all of the ring of fire millions of years ago where hundred percent of them are in the world and 75 percent of them are the ring of fire and some even lo in, located in Af Antarctica which still don't erupt it into in the future and also the ring of fire is also looks like a, a big continental drift now here's how it forms first the the magma and the magma and the crust started pushing each other due to gravitational force that is that pushes into like an upthrust next it pushes like like playing sumo uh, and and when it creates very very intense it starts to burst out leading an explosion and that's how well, mountains were. But it's not yet until platonic plates crash in each other, making it the magma explode from the air and s smoke cover all the sun and blocking with the cold weather. Do you know the World War II I'm talking before? That is why the soldiers have died millions of year uh, of years ago it's because of the winter snow and the cold rain that is when ash blocks the sky it don't makes let let the sunlight travel through it and leading crops to die and while while this it also forms un underwater volcanoes and first forming into tsunamis the biggest tsunami in the world is caused by both two eruptions underwater earthquakes and underwater volcanoes that that's right because the intense of no gravitation gravitational pull of the sea is so deep the outer core is much more deeper leading volcanoes uh, in the in, in underwater less uh, 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 is very not not too not very safe and it doesn't kill any people as it only releases smoke 
they don't release magma and lava like other volcanoes in land do. Well, land is more very interesting because it is the gravitational pull forces up and bursts out. Well, this volcano eruption in Yellowstone National Park, it creates an updraft and it it squeezes in into and it the earthquake starts to pour in thunder and it squeezes into a mountain. The mountain is so tall that it collapses and it bursts out the magma and the hot air gas. That's right, magma and lava can create gas. That is, it, it rubs each other. Well, this, it contacts with, with this. Here's a fun fact. The deepest, the deepest outer layer in our earth, the core, is the is much more hotter than the temperature of the sun. That's right, because it pops out. Volcanoes are so uh, volcanoes are so hot that if you touch in a, a smoke, then you you would die, rather because w when you burn your hands, I, I mean you you would die, and th there's a theory that Mexico had thousands of. Of, and thousands of volcanoes erupting there but it's much more than that while well, south america have le the least volcanoes that's right the a farmer in mexico had heard his crop plants rumbling and thumbling he at first he he predicted that it is a thunderstorm but when he looks out it's a volcano it's a small volcano. And how do this volcano form? It forms and creates because an uh, earthquake when it it snapped and and the farmer was asleep at midnight and he didn't feel the earthquake rumbling and shaking because it's so it, it's so soft. And so how do this volcano erupt soon? If you see in the future that many volcanoes will erupt soon, that's true because the volcanoes in Mexico had erupted today. That's right. And today, there are many volcanoes that scientists are not discovering at. But it, it's still the, the most worse that the, under, the underwater volcanoes and the land volcanoes have pretty much the same equal same facts but but underwater had sand and it, it they also uh, create big bubbles of hot gas and burst out into the sand and and the sand whoosh out all over the the sea making the smoke and creates harmful toxic gas in the ocean that Tourists will not visit the ocean for two two weeks. I mean, one week, and and so it's important that that we if we can't stop volcanoes, here are some tips. Now, first, uh, you you can see that volcan volcanoes are are very are very hot, right? Because this, so you need to stop greenhouse gases and global warming. Just, just do not replace fossil fuels. That that is, if there's lots of smoke and harmful green toxic gases, the harmful green toxic gases will bounce and into the air and into the land like this. Bounce in. This is the greenhouse gases and bounce into and mounts into it, forming heat. And so it, it, it tracks with the magma and the lava, lava, not lava yet, I mean. And so it starts to burst out. That's right. And the second is stop burning fossil fuels. If we burn fossil fuels, there will be more ash. And if a volcano bursts out, it will release more ash into our 
the entire earth will be failed. Fail, fail, and we we can't do this because uh, step three: avoid avoid the mountain and village areas. Go to somewhere with lots of buildings. I mean, a t small town. It it is still okay, and if you see a a tall building and a t very big city. Do not go to it because it releases harmful gas fuels and it can also easily have earthquakes and tsunamis. The earthquakes is the top most. You think earthquakes are the most, most very, very dangerous natural disaster, but it's more than that. A volcano is much more worse and it's the king of both two two things the tsunamis and the earthquakes that's right the king the volcanoes you mentioned that there are titanic plates in the earth that starts to rumbling and fumbling together and it when it starts to crash in each other it forms an uplift and how it forms the whole is that magma bursts out leading a volcano while a mountain forms it's much different like it, it forms a slow updraft slow as your fingernails grow and and so you even cannot feel it just like an earthquake with steep slopes that that is like a landslide traveling with slides right it's much more than slides as lava peer out and it, and much more than that, it's it's much worse when when the Titanic plates start to crash in each other and form ice and snow. Think of it: Mo mountains are more cold and volcanoes are more hot. Why can this pre predict what is the most dangerous? Now everyone thinks that volcanoes are the most dangerous, but Mountains are also dangerous because it also makes floods and tsunamis for us, and even water sprouts. Somewhere where there's many rivers and lakes, and somewhere there's many mountains and trees. That's right. It also can occur tsunamis, floods, and also some na natural disasters that we didn't know. And guess what? Into the future, no one knows what other natural disasters will form. The next day, you'll find out more because of me. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time.